Last weekend, we talked about a lo- lot of art things going on right now, performances, theater, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, one thing we talked about last week, the Gem State Players. Yes. We went and saw the their version of uh, Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None. Yeah, uh-huh. And since it's over, spoiler alert, there's 10 people that start out on stage and one by one, they all die. So because it was just so top-notch and they held even my attention, mm-hmm. <laughs> I told Tasha this, like, in order to hold my attention for two and a half hours, it's got to be pretty good. Right. Gem State Players... And then there were none. You are IFAF this week. Chris Pie Five, Double Finger Guns. Well, and it was such a dark horse. Because, like, I knew it'd be good, but I didn't think it'd be that good. It was that good. It was in Shelley, but they had a killer set. Yeah. And a killer cast, including Mr. H, uh, Terry yeah. Hale. Mm-hmm. And then the following night, I saw his daughter, uh, granddaughter, Nora Nielsen, in The Adams Family. Yes. Which was just fantastic. So I want to give a shout out to Jacob Meldrum. He played Gomez Adams. Mm -hmm. He's amazing, this guy. Well, he was great in Guys and Dolls. Yeah, he was uh, um, Nicely Nicely. Nicely Nicely. Mm -hmm. Who sang Sit Down, You're Rocking the Boat. Such a great song. He's been in all sorts. The Little Shop of Horrors. He's been in like everything in Mm -hmm. the last two years. And he just hit it out of the park. He's so versatile. He's so good. His comic timing was there. Mm Mm-hmm. Allison Rockwood played Morticia. She was fantastic. Nora Nielsen played Wednesday Adams. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of her. That whole family is just incredibly talented. In fact, I hear Dad Jason is going to be in something. Oh, fun. My memory isn't super hot, but I'd love to see that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And I know we're going to talk about the Hale family as we get closer to December 6th, Mm -hmm. too. Uh, there's how's, how's that for a tease? <laughs> but they do something really sweet and I think really important. Now, I wanted to point out that I actually didn't get to go to the Adams Family, which I was really sad about because I wanted to see it super bad. They did um, such a, an amazing job. That's what I heard. Because I'm glad you got to go at least. I only got to go to and then there were none. Um, but the funny thing is, realistically, of the two plays, which one would I probably have enjoyed more just by guessing? Probably the Adams Family, because what do I love? I love musicals. I love costume changes and dancing and prancing around and all that stuff. And and then there were none, had none of that. And yet I loved it. It was so good. It, it was a couple hours long or maybe even longer, two and a half hours? Yeah. First of all, I don't know how Tasha Bear directed it. And I don't know how she wrangled 10 actors to do exactly the right thing, but she did somehow. Yeah. And uh, the the reason I love the Adams family so much was they just used the soundtrack. There was no live oh, orchestra, nice. so there was no room for error that way. And you mm-hmm. know how much I love good production. You do. Nothing against the live musicians that I've worked with in the past, mm-hmm. but that is sort of another unpredictable element. And so to know that that music was just nailed down and everybody hit every note. It was just fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I just, I love seeing talent here in East Idaho because, you know, sometimes you got to go to Salt Lake or Boise for that stuff. Yeah, definitely. Well, and I feel like just the local theater performances have really stepped up their game lately. I I think I've met Hannah Bingham, who played Alice in the Addams Family. She was the... Um, what do you call it? Like wild card. I was not expecting how amazing she was. I love that. <laughs> she's she's like you know. So th- this normal family comes to visit the Adams family, and it's very important to Wednesday because she might get engaged to this guy, or she is engaged, or she might get married. Anyway, so the normal family comes. The Adams family tries to be normal, and um, Hannah is the wife, and <laughs> she Alice and. She just, I would say, a standout breakout role. And I love the moral of the story of the Adams family, which is if a dinner party gets awkward, just do some drugs <laughs> and everything will work out just fine. <laughs> As someone who didn't see it, yeah. I feel like that needs more context. Nope, that's the moral. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go see another play this upcoming week. Are we? The Sister Act. What? Oh, okay, good. That, uh-huh. That's another one. There's so many good ones out right. there. Right, yeah. yeah. And that's going to be at the Center Theater, which I haven't been to before. Okay. So I'm just so, it's so neat and fun how like artsy and metropolitan we're getting all of a sudden. Yeah. You know, with all of our local theater productions. <laughs> 